Hey, Reese, how you doing? What's up, man? How y'all doing? Doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. Good, good. Um, so just tell us, just update us on how camp has been going. I know it's been a long time coming. Uh, how do you feel? And, and just, you know, what do you think next for you? Oh, man, I feel great, man. You know, it's been a real competitive camp. Uh, just what, you know, everything I've been through, I'm just happy to be back on the field, to be honest, man. But it's been feeling really great. You know, uh, coach has been doing a great job just getting me, you know, just caught back up in the mix and just, you know, getting my, my field legs back under me. So, uh, man, I've been feeling really good. You know, I think the next step is just to just keep working, man, just get ready because I know uh, whenever my number is ca uh, called, I'm going to have to show up. So, Zach Kiefer? Reese, the receiver room is stacked. I mean, there's so many talented guys in there. Um, you're coming back from the injury. Where do you think you fit in, and, and how do you think that competition is playing out? Oh, yeah, man, definitely. Uh, we got a lot of great, talented guys in the receiver room. Uh, you know, I just got to compete. You know, obviously, you know, this is a uh, what can you do for me now league. So I know coming in off this injury that I was just going to have to work and just you know, just push it to the limit every day. So I, I really feel good. You know, uh, you know, it's a lot of younger guys that, you know, they got a lot of great talent with Pitt, Pat, and all those guys. But, you know, I think I fin I'm fitting in really well. You know, I'm out here competing, just doing, just out here, just, you know, just making the most of every opportunity as much as I can. Taylor Tannenbaum. Hey, Taylor, you want to unmute yeah, yourself? Uh, Rookie mistake. <laughs> um, uh, I know you spent a couple of years now with T.Y. Hilton, so I'm just curious for you how he's made you a better player, and especially through this comeback. Uh, is there anything specifically that you can think about that you've kind of leaned on him or any moments that stand out to you? I was going to say, speaking of a way, man, you got, yeah, I got to see the shirt real quick. <laughs> if if y'all can see that. <laughs> But, uh, man, T.Y. has definitely been a, a huge help throughout this whole process, man. I think it's kind of crazy. I kind of tell him, like, we actually got closer with me being injured, man. You know, just speaking to him uh, a lot more, you know, outside of the facility, whether that's, you know, just giving him a quick call, FaceTime call, or mainly just playing Fortnite with him, man. But he definitely helped me. You know, uh, he was just telling me throughout this whole process, just don't remember where you uh, – just remember where you left off at. You know, don't lose that confidence. And when you come in – just play football like you know you can do it you know you have the talent so just play but man T.Y. he stay on me like I love it whether it's you know from uh rushing my route on a double move or you know not picking my weight up in Fortnite so I love it man he definitely been like a a mentor to me throughout this whole process and I think you know without him and while Zach and all the other guys Marcus all them other guys you know I wouldn't be at the spot where I am today. Mike Matt. Therese thanks for taking the time. Uh, can you kind of take us through what the rehab process was and the hardest part for you? Oh, man. Like, uh, I know I, I've explained this a few times, but, man, the rehab process, it was definitely a tough one. You know, I, I definitely wouldn't wish this upon my worst injury – I mean, upon my worst enemy. But, man, like, uh, I, I don't know if you guys knew, I went through three surgeries. Uh, it was a, a long time where my tibia was actually healing correctly. And it was crazy, man, because when I was out there, uh, I was working out in Dallas, Texas for a majority part of this offseason. While I was working out there, my bones still wasn't healed. And it got to a point where when the coronavirus started getting really serious and we didn't know where OTAs were going to start on time or not, we got to a point where I was going to have to have another surgery. And we didn't know if I was actually going to be able to participate in training camp. Uh, but I ended up, you know, getting my last surgery. And I, I really got a shout out to – Aaron Hammer, Kyle, Double B, all those guys in the training staff because they really uh they really just sat there and just helped push me, man. They really, really uh helped me get to the spot where I want to be now. But man, it was a long, long, stressful, mentally tiring process. But man, I just thank God that, you know, I just made it through and I'm able to play the game that I love. 